hi okay I'm going to teach some chemistry over here so let's say you wanted to find the oxidation state in certain elements okay that's simple stuff all you gotta do is put somewhere on the side your important rules okay and you know for ox oxygen excuse me oxygen oxygen equals negative 2 don't get it confused with the mass numbers okay when you're dealing with oxidation your oxygen is negative 2 not 16 or 15.99 okay just like with fluorine fluorine it's a uh, negative 1 not 19 or 18.99 now you, when you're dealing with groups for group 1 it's plus 1 for group 2 is plus 2 very important rules please keep them in mind whenever you're dealing with oxidation okay now as an example let's go for something um, okay you got Na2 and O2 in other words this right here this is a sodium the Na if it was just N it would have been nitrogen and this O for oxygen okay the way to start to even begin problems like this you have to have some algebraic skills you go N uh, Na okay X subscript Na plus X subscript O now this part of the equation this over here is not arbitrary this is determined by whatever is on top okay let me get a pencil so you can see this okay this may take a few seconds because I want to emphasize in this part this is where it, uh, some common mistakes occur what to go here one ask well over here at this exponent section that like invisible box you, you may have a plus sign or a negative sign with a certain number okay now whatever that number is if it's a plus that means you get a plus two or if like if that number was a two would I have been a plus two here so you get a plus whatever number is there on this side if it was a negative that means you would have a negative number here and whatever number is there the same number that's there goes here same sign that's there goes to here okay um, but since in our case there's no thing nothing there no plus sign no negative no number so what do we consider that to be always zero all right Con moving forward those subscripts come into play when you're dealing with uh, the algebraic skills this part over here becomes 2x and a and that becomes 2x o okay now we mentioned what is uh, na na is sodium and sodium where is it in the periodic table the periodic table that's in group one so because that's a, a matter so when you deal with sodium you put over here two times plus one because as I mentioned it's plus one plus two O okay let's do this so we don't get it confused with oxygen that's zero um, okay so we did two times one because sodium is plus one alright that's in group one anything in group one is plus one now that becomes that we're looking for oxygen always keep in mind let's say we're looking for oxygen right whatever you're looking for should I have said that in the beginning of the video if I didn't say it yeah um, so that's a zero over there okay now you know when you're looking for X you try to isolate the variable right so same thing you go on about in this step okay 
Whoa, maybe I made I made that uh oh a little too big, but that's a subscript. Uh negative two. This step. Um we know that oxygen is negative two, right? But we were trying to find the oxidation state, particularly for oxygen in this situation. So we don't go plugging in oxygen in this step. We leave oxygen the same way that it is. So you divide because you're trying to find the oxidation state. Now you know anything divided by itself is one. So that's it. That's the oxidation state for oxygen. Negative one. Okay. So just to review, it may have been a little tedious, but this stuff matters. Um, this is the study of matter. Nitrogen, if it was just N, right here in our case, this is sodium and oxygen. With those subscripts, the oxidation state for oxygen in this particular case, as we calculated, is negative 1. So hope that helped. Always keep in mind your rules and the steps, okay? Thank you. Goodbye.